When I was young, I always kind of had the feeling that I was a little bit different. I didn't like to fit in. I like to, you know, stand out, a um, little bit quirky, a little bit unique. And I feel like the G class is kind of a reflection of that too. I'm Lindsay Edwards. I grew up in Brandon, Manitoba in Canada. It's definitely my home. All my friends and family are still here. Although I travel for work a lot, this is definitely my home base. I live in a house in Bra like right in town with my fiance, Trevor. Our two dogs, Dylan and Aspen, our cat, Richard. And then I have my two horses as well, Carmen and Marsha. I know it sounds like I have an ordinary life, um, but I've always felt like I stand out a little bit. And maybe that's because of the G class and how much it resonates with me. It was and probably still is the only one in my small town. I grew up just kind of on a hobby farm, just like south of town. My parents were middle class, working family. We definitely put all of our focus into the horses and, you know, being just a, a typical rural family. So this is my parents' farm where I grew up. Uh, we're gonna be here today grabbing my horse and heading out for a ride with my sister. My passion for horses has definitely been inherited. Um, it was passed down, you know, my grandparents rode, my parents rode, and now me and my sister do. So it's, you know, something that's definitely transcended the generations. I also inherited a fascination of vehicles from my family as well. My dad's very mechanical. They're, they were always into North American made cars primarily. And something that was different was Mercedes and the G-Class. And that was something that wasn't very common or prevalent here. So it's something that sparked my fascination as far as, you know, standing out and being a little bit different. The first time I saw a G-Class um, was when I was younger, you know, looking through magazines and on the internet and stuff like that and, and seeing it in a kind of in a different world that was so much different from the way that I grew up, right? Like it's so unique, it's so eye-catching, it's so different. I was just like, I want to know more about it. So I ended up, you know, just researching it, looking into it more, like finding out the history of it. Uh, once I kind of, yeah, looked into it a little bit more, I was just like, wow, like I, that's, that's a lot of money and at the time I was, I was a student. Maybe that's just a dream, maybe that's just, you know, a goal, something to focus on. When I was a, a young adult teenager, I had a lot of um, ups and downs. And part of uh, working through that was setting goals for myself to help, you know, move forward, help keep me motivated, help keep me going. Um, and one of those goals was having a G-Class, being able to drive one, being able to own one. That was, you know, one of my goals and it felt very lofty at the time, but I've never been one for small goals. So <laughs> I just kind of, you know, put it out there into the universe and just, you know, kept working towards it. After I finished schooling, um, I went through and became an environmental coordinator. A lot of my friends, you know, went into nursing or teaching or, you know, jobs that, you know, kept them close to home. I just kind of had the drive to do something different. I'm definitely one of the very few women that work out there. It's predominantly male dominated. It can be a little bit tough. It's very challenging at times, um, but it's also very rewarding. It definitely, yeah, it gives me kind of like a sense of a sense of pride to work in an industry where women haven't really been a part of throughout history. So to be kind of the the change and kind of like you know lead from example, like you know even in the past couple of years, there's been way more women enter the field. So it's it's just really refreshing to see and to you know kind of have that that transition. The moment I kind of knew I was gonna buy it was right before my 30th birthday. 
um, you know, there had been a few ups and downs that year and I said, you know what, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it now. And I found that one and I was like, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's mine. <laughs> Um, I bought a 2014 uh, AMG G63. Uh, it's white with the black interior. When the G-Class first arrived, it was dropped off and I was away at work, so I didn't get to see it get dropped off. So it was unloaded and Trevor picked it up and he was sending me just <laughs> um, sounds of it like running and <laughs> just all the, you know, all the fun, iconic things that it's known for. <laughs> My brother-in-law, who's also a, a huge car guy, he happened to be, you know, just cruising around town that day and he sends me a, a picture of this white G-Wagon on this truck and he's just like, hey, like, you know, made a joke like, hey, like, look, it's a, it's a G-Wagon or whatever. And I said, hey, like, that's, that's mine. And he's like, no, he didn't even believe that it was mine until I actually got it home. <laughs> I was so excited when I saw it at first. It was like, wow, like I, I've had this goal for so long. I've been focused on something for, you know, years and years and years. And this is something that I thought was completely unattainable for someone like me. And then, you know, I see this thing in my driveway and it's like, it's mine. I'll never forget the first time when I started it up. It was um, fun. <laughs> it was just, yeah, it was all of the emotions. <laughs> the G-Class is definitely my dream car. Like, has always been, will always be. <laughs>